So does that surprise you at all that there was a shooting in a short-term rental in the past couple days? No. We begin tonight with Operation Crime and Justice, and as you just heard, complaints from a North Nashville man about crime associated with the short-term rentals in his neighborhood. Well, tonight, a 15-year-old is behind bars facing a murder charge. Metro Police say Darren Fleming, who's out on probation, shot and killed his cousin at a party at that short-term rental. The cousin was there to make sure Fleming did not miss curfew. Now, that particular short-term rental is right down the home from this frustrated man's house. Fox 17 News' Kylie Walker joining us to break down the growing problem. The neighbor I spoke to who wants to remain anonymous used to live in East Nashville, but he says what pushed him out was all of the crime and rowdy behavior coming from this cluster here of short term rental properties. Now he then moved to North Nashville here where he says he saw a lot of the same. Police say 15 year old Darren Fleming, who was on probation at the time, shot and killed his 31 year old cousin, Barrington Moore. Moore was trying to take him home from another teen's birthday party at this short term rental on Young's Lane. It is on a weeknight when you, you know, look out your back window and there's police in your backyard with flashlights and canines and guns drawn, you know, and you're hearing screaming and, and police officers everywhere. It's, it's not a. It, I don't think it's good for the community. It's not good for Nashville as a whole. This frustrated neighbor says it's not an isolated incident. We reached out to the district council member for comment, but we never heard back from Quante Toombs. We also took these concerns to the mayor's office, but again, no response. I just think we're approaching a point, uh, a breaking point where something has to be done or the, the communities of Nashville are no longer going to be the communities of Nashville. Over the years, Fox 17 News has shown you all the issues coming out of short term rental properties. It's something that the man we spoke to has seen firsthand time and time again throughout the city. They have a different set of rules and it's not their community and there's parties, there's parking issues. You see trash cans overfilled. I had to lobby to get no parking signs put in because they were blocking intersections. He says at this rate, some streets could see more Airbnbs than residents. Now, according to this data, there are more than 25 permits that have been issued in the last several years on Young's Lane just alone. But the neighbor tells me that through a zoning change, there could be 75 more added. Keep in mind, these numbers might be even greater as not everyone does register for that permit, which is illegal. For now, reporting in studio, Kylie Walker, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station. Well, we want to know what you think should Metro City leaders make regulating short term rentals a priority. This poll just getting up and going right now. 164 votes have come in. 58.5% of respondents say yes. 41.5% say no. This poll is live right now. We'd love to get your thoughts. To cast your vote, you can scan the QR code right there on the right hand of your screen. It will take you over to our X page. Our handle is at Fox Nashville. You can reach it that way as well. We'll show you updated poll results here a little later in the newscast.